Okie dokie. Second example for this problem. Uh, I'll work it out a little bit faster. If you'd like to see more of a breakdown, please visit the first example I've worked out. All right, so we are constructing the equation for the rate of change of A. Rate of change of A being represented by dA over dt. So they tell us that the rate of change of A is proportional to the square of W. So proportional, meaning it'll just be represented by the product of some constant K and whatever they mention. So they say proportional to square of W. So we'll have W and we'll square it. So that's all we need to do with that first statement, k times w squared. Then they say the rate of change of a is proportional to the product of s and b. So proportional again, which means we're not dividing by anything, which we would do if it said inversely proportional, but uh, it's just proportional. So we're going to multiply onto what we have already, the product of s and b. So the product meaning multiplication of S and B. So we could probably just call it SB to represent S times B. So now we have DA over DT equals K, our constant, times W squared times S times B. So our best looking answer is option D. Break out the eraser and we see that D is our correct answer.